Hi guys, another video. So, I want to work on the fuel system, but we can see that it's quite a blustery day today. And down the street, somebody's tree fell on the power lines and we don't have any power in the neighborhood. So I got the old PE75 out fresh gasoline in the gas tank gave her two pulls on the pulley there she fired right up she's happy that's how much uh, how many watts this put out 22 amps so it's household current that will kill you in uh, half a second. I have the cord coming into the workshop here. Let's see if we can get some light going on. Oh no! How about that? And I need to use my grinder, so let's see if that'll work too. Oh, this thing actually runs better. This little grinder actually runs a lot better from that generator than it does on household current. Well, I have some of my fuel lines here. Here and here. And I got a new fuel shutoff valve. And I'm just now working on getting the top of the fuel strainer apart. This is an original World War II fuel strainer. And the reason I call it a fuel strainer is because of this apparatus here. Well, I don't want to take that apart. But there are probably about 250 little brass discs that are perforated that strain the fuel. Any sediment that enters the fuel strainer will drop down into the bowl. And then the fuel strainer itself sits on top of that spring there. So that goes down like that. There's a washer that goes on top of the bolt right there. And that's a little rubber washer. Then this fits under here. And the bolt goes into that hole and threads into the stem. So that's what I'm doing right now. And this is actually the first time since 2011 that I've run the generator and put it to good use. So, here we go.